The Washington State University Student Entertainment Board hosted a showing of the 2003 movie The Room in an effort to try and win a free pre-screening of the new movie The Disaster Artist based on The Room. Well, he came to me with um, the prompt from his old bosses actually so we got a really cool opportunity um, to kind of bring our, another aspect to films that I was really interested in. Interactive movies are not like normal movies. For a normal movie you're supposed to just go sit down and enjoy the film. For an interactive film you're supposed to get loud and rowdy and participate along with the film. Like say there will be a prompt where you're supposed to just go and take popcorn and throw it at the screen. The room is no different, where they have a list of the number one things you're supposed to say and do at certain key points in the movie. Some of the prompts included throwing around footballs whenever the characters tossed around a football, throwing spoons at the screen when a picture of a spoon appears, and chanting when there is a panning shot of the Golden Gate Bridge. It's so subtle and so bad you don't notice it and it's so good, it makes you laugh. Like it's almost uncomfortable to where it makes you laugh. <laughs> One of the schools competing in the contest is WSU rival University of Washington. However, they declined to comment on their showing of the film. We found out the reason why was that the rules for the contest state that you cannot talk about other schools in advertising and other mediums about the event. Alex Clark, Murrow News 8.